Now that we've assembled our I2C mini terminal, let's uh, see how to use it. You'll need um, four uh, jumper wires like you would use with a regular breadboard, and you'll also need an Arduino. In this case, I'm using an older Arduino, the Dewey Mini Nova. And uh, what we do is first we're going to connect the ground pin, ground to let's remove the LCD ground to the ground pin here. Then we'll put the power uh, five volts. These are sort of hard to see uh, exactly what lines up with what on the Arduino, but they're clearly marked on both the Arduino and the I2C mini terminal. Um, plug that in. And then next we connect the I2C um, lines. The uh, first line we're going to connect is the SCL. The SCL from the I2C mini terminal goes to the analog end pin number five. Number five. And the <clears throat> SDA pin crosses over and goes to the analog input pin number four of the Arduino. Now notice it's critical that these cross over. They don't align one for one. They uh, they cross over, like I said. Okay, now we plug this thing in. Uh, and let's put the uh, LCD back on. And then we'll <clears throat> plug the Arduino to Emilia Nova in. And um, we'll run the uh, Arduino IDE. Okay, we plug it in and we said it's, it's mini terminal revision. In this case, it's 0 0.08. Uh, you may have a different revision on your machine. Now let's get some software that will allow us to test this device. Uh, we'll switch over to a screen view so that we can uh, download an I2C mini terminal test. In order to test the I2C mini terminal, you're going to want to get our test software from the Smiley Micros website. Uh, let's see, Smiley Micros. We click on the menu item, Articles and Downloads, and then we click on Downloads. from. And somewhere down here you'll find the I2C Mini Terminal. This won't look exactly like um, this on your screen because I'm always adding and subtracting materials from this. But click on the I2C Mini Terminal software and then you download I2C Mini Terminal.zip. In your downloads directory, you'll see your I2C mini terminal.zip file. Uh, click on that and extract all. Okay, just you can leave it in your downloads menu. Uh, okay, now it's extracted. And we're going to want to move that. Let's uh, click on this and we'll cut. And then we're here to find our Arduino installation. In this case, my most recent is Arduino 1.04. Uh, open that, open libraries, and then just paste it in here. Paste, and there it is. Okay. You have to do this before you open your Arduino IDE so your Arduino IDE can find it. All right, let's open the Arduino IDE. Uh, Arduino. Takes a moment to come alive. And here we go. Now we go File, under Examples. You see that we have the I2C Mini Terminal here. And you see there's two programs. One is Mini Terminal Test and the other is Mini Terminal Test PM. Uh, let's click on the uh, I2C Mini Terminal Test and load it in. And uh, we see that we've got a little program here that when we run it, uh, the first thing it's going to do is uh, these, these empty underbar functions are all things to drive the mini terminal. 
And in our setup, the first thing we do is we clear the LCD, and then we write hello world. The zero uh, here is for the character position, and the zero here is for the line, which is the, and, uh, under world, we got character zero, line one. So uh, you can see what happens when we let's upload it. And we look at our video, and we see that it says, hello world. As you can see, the I2C mini terminal test program uh, shows hello world on the LCD. And when we touch one of the push buttons, we press the center. You see it says center. We press down. It says down. Press up. Uh, left and right. Now you might think that this um, uh, logic for this circuit is occurring on your I2C mini terminal, but it's not. The um, Arduino is sending messages to the uh, mini terminal and it's asking it, are there any keys pressed? And if the key is pressed, then it will ask which key is pressed and it will read that information onto the Arduino and then the Arduino itself will send back a command to <clears throat> print on the uh, LCD which key was pressed. So I, I press center, and the Arduino detects it, and it sends back a message to show center. Uh, you might wonder, well, why something this simple? We could do it all on the I2C mini terminal. That's true, but the I2C mini terminal is just a server, it's a slave for the Arduino, and all it does is it responds to requests for push buttons, and then it responds to <clears throat> requests to display information on the screen. Now let's open a serial monitor because this program, in addition to sending information to the uh, LCD on the mini terminal, it also sends uh, information out to serial port, so that when we press the center button, It'll say center, and then we got the down, left, and right. The information is uh, shown here on the serial terminal, just like it was shown on the LCD. This is just to help uh, with your debugging efforts. You'll be able to take this program and modify it as you need in order to use the mini terminal. And it's got you know the various functions and um, it, for instance, here, if I press the left button, um, it sends out left and also prints left on the uh, LCD. Okay, good enough. Uh, that should get you started, so have fun.